Hi, this is Tyra. Today I went to our local uh, second-hand store um, and uh, they have just had a sale and they cleared out after the sale and new things had arrived. So I thought I would go down and take a look and see off, or look at all the new things which they have had in. Sometimes there's some really good things. And what I was looking here it was a vase from <clears throat> India. It was graved and in uh, brass, I think. I chose to put it back. And then this one that I'm picking up, this is a glass um, lantern. And it's uh, from a Danish brand called Holmegård. Um, the Holmegård is an old brand which has six day assisted in around, I think, a hundred years or so. And um, <clears throat> I ended up buying that one because uh, it's still being sold and we can just have a look at it afterwards. Uh, they had a lot of uh, ceramics um, which has come in and it was it's stainless and ceramic. Uh, Denmark has a long history of producing ceramic and they're pretty good at them. Some of them, <clears throat> some of the brands, sorry, my throat is, uh, is really bad today. Some of the brands are quite valuable and uh, that's why I, I keep uh, looking at them and uh, turning them up side down to see the brands below. Um, I... Uh, was quite fascinated with it but I don't think it was all browns uh, colors and I didn't really like any of them so I choose to chose to move on and have you seen this um, I don't really know what it was for um, just to hang it was a bit um, yeah it was a bit bit damaged by the Sun a bit yellow um, so I thought it ten dollars for it was a bit too much for my taste, but I really liked it. So perhaps I'm going to go down and get it. And then there was this mouse. This is a pretty new thing. It was just cute with the mouse on top of it. I, if uh, Mary has had been along, I think that would have come with us home. Uh, and then I found this one big. Uh, soup bowl, uh, really old, um, still contemplating whether I should go down and get it. It cost around $25 I think, um, but there were no mark on it and normally I look after three waves under them because then it's uh, Royal Copenhagen but it wasn't so I think this one is either English or German, but anyway, it's a really old soup bowl and it didn't have any damages, so Perhaps this is from the 18th century um, Yeah, probably mid 18th century Really pretty so um, perhaps I'm going to go back and get it But it's just such a big piece that uh, I don't know whether I can fit it or not um, then we just moved on and looked around. There was this really weird plate that I'm now checking out. I think uh, in Danish it's called a cabaret uh, plate where you have room for different dips or yeah, whatever you wanted. It was hand painted, but I really didn't recognize it. I think so I chose to put it back. Uh, perhaps it's Chinese but I wasn't really sure with the markings on, on the back of it. You can see it here. Uh, and heavily gold-plated as well. Uh, then we went on to look at some glass stuff. And yeah, there's all sorts of things down here. There's a lot of glass, dishware, um, yeah, S small coffee cups, a lot of glasses and uh, yeah, bowls and 
candlestick holders and another candlestick holders and lots of really fine, fine things. This is from uh, Italy, which is a Finnish company. Um, but it's not the uh, one that I needed to have. So yeah, there wasn't as much on their shelves as they, they normally have because uh, they've just cleaned out. Um, but uh, that's okay because when they have cleaned out or they have have old or stocked up some really good things and it's uh, it's um, always a good thing to go down there when they've just cleaned out and taking new inventory in because uh, sometimes you find some real good cheer treasures in there so uh, I'm just Sorry, my, my daughter just fed her giggle with a cockroach, I think, cockroach, yes. yeah, he's so, in, he's in for the first time, so she's quite happy with it. And here you see some red glass bowls that I was a bit in doubt about this, uh, I have to check them because uh, Holmegård has made these, but I couldn't remember if these were Holmegård, and they s just looked a bit too, too new. For being Holmigo, but uh, you never know. But they were pretty though. And then I just went down in the other end, and here I also looked at some of the glass things which they have vases and so on. I didn't really see anything good. Uh, so I think I turned back and then just. Uh, went up. So you can see there's a lot of furniture as well. Um, leather chair, armchairs and old uh, yeah all sorts of cabinets and yeah so there's a lot of good things in there you can uh, and they're really cheap and a good price. So now I think I decided to go over to the cabinet they have at the counter where they put the really good expensive stuff at that, at that shelf they have a lot of um, old um, Holmegård things again and then they had this one which is uh, from the company called Bink and Grundale which is a Danish company again this is the second um, sort so uh, there is a mistake on it and we could just look at it afterwards because this one I bought. Uh, love the old animals uh, that they made. They are considered a bit kitsch today so um, uh, they don't really uh, sell that good but I really love them. So I'm going to end here and let's take a look at the haul. So this is what I got from today. So we got the glass, um, yeah, the glass lantern uh, for for lights, and um, it's really big. Um, it's a uh, think it's uh, I have it here. It's a uh, twenty. 24 centimeters high so it's really big and with a leather leather handle so you can lift them and go around with them um we are redoing our terrace so i think it would really be really on summer days have it standing outside with the light in it would be beautiful and you can carry it around so i'm really pleased with this i paid a bit over ten dollars for it so and if I were to buy it in the stores, I would pay around, I think around $75 for it. So this is a really good bargain. Probably sent by a buddy who got it from, uh, in, from the company as a Christmas present or something. Most often they, um, some don't really want to use it and they give it away. Then I found him, as you saw in the video. So this is a baby seal. Um, I love them. At one point I can show you my collection that I found uh, on different um, 
uh, in different stores and mostly I found them I, or they are second hand because they're not really being produced as much anymore so um, so him I had to have and as I said this is um, you can see here that the, there's three houses and through them you can see there is a line which has been squ scratched into it and with that line it says that this is uh, not the first sword it is the second sword and I have I have discovered why it's because you do have this tiny mistake in the uh, glazing and uh, so that's why they've put him down but I think the eyes are beautiful and so on so I paid um, I think I paid fifteen dollars for him. Uh, they go for around, um, I think they go for around, also seventy five dollars. So again, if I was to sell him, I would probably get around forty dollars. So a bit a a good price, but he's not going to be sold because he's mine, and he's going into my collection with my iceberg my eyes spurs where he's going to lay in front of him so he can be eaten every day <laughs> finally i found uh, this one which caught my eye i didn't uh, record him on uh, this one on the video because it, it caught my eye on my very way out and i was just caught by the color of it and i had a look on it i thought it was beautiful uh, the blue colors and have you seen there's a butterfly here and then you have flowers I can't remember what they're called but they're beautiful and you have flowers on the other side and as you can see here it is gold plated I think um, and uh, in really perfect condition the other thing is that when you t put it down it does like that so that's why they had put it at hang on it it was it cost two and a half dollars who would say no to this for two and a half dollars so <clears throat> and then i turned it around and as you can see there's a marking on it um and uh, it's there's a handwritten s seal on it so I just went home to check this water because I've cleaned them. Um, so I just w went home to check what was this because I've never bought anything. And then Mary came out and said, oh, this is probably Japanese. She's uh, 12 years old, but she loves Japanese things. So she wants to have it in her room. And I just checked it on Etsy. This is being sold for around hundred dollars so this was really a steal uh, i'm cr really really pleased for, with it um and it's definitely not one that i'm going to sell it's uh staying here and as mary says it's not coming uh coming anywhere else but it's not it's not probably not wouldn't be sold for a hundred dollars with it being so wibbly wobbly but anyway uh I'm really pleased with my buys today. So um, thanks for watching. Comment below if you've got any questions, anything you want to, me to show you, tell you about Danish things and so on. Let me know. And um, yeah, uh, I hope you were enjoying this as a break from the ordinary diamond paintings. And yes, I'm also doing an unboxing today. So <laughs> don't worry, there will be more diamond painting videos. Talk to you soon. Happy diamond painting. And for you who likes just watching f f f these videos, let me know. And uh, yeah, all of you, please subscribe. I do lots of fun, different things. So see you in my next video. Bye for now.